Hello and welcome. We are excited to present our work on lot H71 of the Brenner Base Tunnel, the Isarco River underpass. None of this could have been possible without the dedication of our team, composed of Alessandro Marottoli, Giuditta Vecchione, Roberta Marrazzo, Aurelio Gallotto and Mariano Cavolo. A big thanks goes also to the construction and the safety supervision provided by Italfair, HBPM Engineers and Pini Group and of course to the experts and the hardworking miners of the construction company, a joint venture led by WeBuild. The Brenner Base Tunnel is one of the largest infrastructure projects in Europe. Our section, Lot H71, the Azarco River underpass, plays a crucial role, connecting the existing railway system to the new high-speed, high-capacity line. This section is situated in a narrow valley near Forteza, and we had to tunnel beneath key infrastructure like the A22 motorway, the SS12 road and the Azarco River itself. The ground conditions were extremely variable, ranging from Brixner granite to soft alluvial soils with granite boulders. These conditions, combined with minimal overburden and the presence of water, made this section particularly challenging. One of the most impressive parts of our project was the use of artificial ground freezing. This technique allowed us to build four tunnels under the Izarco River without moving the river or lowering the water table. With this technique, we froze the soil using nitrogen and brine to increase its stability and decrease its permeability, which made it safe to tunnel. This method is also very eco-friendly because it doesn't introduce harmful chemicals into the environment. In the northern parts of the project, we used quick-set jet grouting and roto-injection controlled parameters to stabilize the tunnel faces. Quickset jet grouting was especially helpful under the A22 motorway as it allowed us to inject grout into the ground and control how quickly it set, even under high water pressure. Roto injection was used in crossing section to fill small fractures in the rock with a special grout which stopped water from entering the tunnels. These technologies helped us manage the complicated ground conditions and ensured the success of consolidation operations. Sustainability was a key part of our project. First, we chose to cross the valley underground, which reduced the amount of land used. Our artificial ground freezing method allowed us to build under the Izarco River without changing the river's course or lowering the water level, protecting the local wildlife and ecosystem. A big focus was also on managing the spoil. We reused about 650,000 cubic meters of the excavated material for concrete and landscaping. Finally, we planted over 50,000 plants as part of our restoration efforts, helping to restore the natural environment and blend the project area with the surrounding landscape. We reached several important milestones during this project. The excavation of 6.2 kilometers of tunnels was completed as planned, with around 1.2 million cubic meters of material being excavated and managed. All the tunneling and lining work was finished by August 2023. Our biggest achievement was certainly undercrossing the Izarco River, but other major milestones were also relocating the existing railway line in February 2021 to accommodate the new tunnels and completing the tunneling under the A22 motorway and the SS12 road without interrupting their operation. This was crucial for minimizing disruption to the local economy and community. Our success wasn't just about the engineering. We worked closely with the local community and stakeholders throughout the project. We regularly held meetings with local authorities and community members to keep them informed and address any concerns. We also set up the BBT Observatory, an independent body that ensured we met all environmental and safety standards. Each year, 
we also held open days for the community, giving locals a chance to visit the site and learn more about the project. These events, along with our online updates, helped build trust and kept the public informed about our progress. In conclusion, Lot 871 was a remarkable achievement in both engineering and sustainability. It's a critical part of the Brenner Base Tunnel, which will reduce travel times and carbon emissions while improving transport connections across Europe. Now, as the project near completion, the signs of the construction are starting to disappear. The plants we have placed around the sites are growing, and the landscape is slowly returning to its natural state. So the ground freezing and the jet grouting innovations are no longer visible, they played a crucial role in overcoming the challenging of this project. We are proud of our work and we believe that the innovations, the collaboration and commitment shown in this project make it deserving of recognitions at the ITA Tunneling Awards.